everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Jurassic World! <laughs> back again, yes! And we have some interesting news. Uh, a dinosaur, two dinosaurs actually, have just came to the game. Uh, luckily, uh, Ludia, Jam City, uh, whatever uh, they want to go by now, have given me another pass to the uh, premium stuff. Now, I did in the last one, which was the Stegorus or whatever it was called, I think. Uh, it was the Ankylosaurid looking thing. Now, I did manage to get all of those. I got all the way to the end, got maxed out on points, so we have as much as we can. And I think I may have got one in a regular pack, too. Uh, ooh, 275. Yeah, sure. Super Kool Aid. For old time's sake, why not click it? Yeah, I'm, I'm not too bad. I'm bad, I'm just not that bad. There we go, get that. And do this one, yay. So we have a new dinosaur that's in the monthly season pass thing, whatever you want to call it. And it is another celebrity dinosaur. Again, not to bring up old, uh, old ideas, but you know, the... They have got a fair few good ideas from me over the years and, you know, or at least things I've mentioned they've included. And this one of Celebrity Dinosaurs has been one that um, they've done for a while now. It started with, I think, Blue or Toro, one of the first ones. Then we had Beta, then we had Bumpy. Um, and now we, I think Rexy, Rexy is another one in Jurassic World the game. I'm thinking specifically because they do exist outside of uh, Jurassic World the game in Jurassic World Live. So, we'll just quickly do all this because there is also Irritated Gen 2. Now, Irritated, if you remember, is a rare creature and it's not very good, I'll be honest. Uh, we'll just quickly collect some stuff. Here it is. It is the book T-Rex from the Lost World. Oh, look at the little thing. It's a T-Rex now running through. So, I have done some missions, as you can quite clearly tell. I did some yesterday. Uh, we got 3,300. Cool. They were basically, you know, do the battles, leave the battles, do do more battles, use carnivores and all that jazz. So we have those done, but we also can collect the grand premium pairs. So we'll get that. that so it's like for 3,000 points right at the bat, as well as straight there, Tyrannosaurus. Oh, sorry, Tyrannosaur Buck. There you go. This is beautiful. Hold on. <laughs> Take a pretty picture. Although, did that even work? What's that? Why would it, why does it take like two pictures? Oh, because it's it thinks there's two like there's two uh, displays going on right now. Okay, seasonal chance. Oh, ho, ho. Uh, nothing but rubbish. But we need, it's some resources. It's better than nothing. Um. Oh, an extra incubator. Okay, I think you can only use one of those though. Macro DNA, right? Cool, cool, cool. VIP points, very much appreciated. Ten golden pit tickets, and there we go! Boom, 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 and that is already a level twenty because we've got it there on the freebie. So what about the grand premium? Have I? Do you have access to it earlier than that? No, you don't. Okay, so you actually get the book T-Rex way early. Ooh, now it used to be ten thousand. Uh, you would get the creature. So let's have a quick check. So you actually do get it at 7,000 for the Grand Premium. Uh, instant hatched as well. So you don't have to pay anything for it. And 10,000, you don't get it. Okay, so you get it a lot sooner. And then you... Whoa, you get two of them in quick succession. Interesting. And you finally... Oh. Okay. So you do get two guaranteed now. I think it was always two. They just switched them around. And also now, every time you get another 250, I think you get one of these packs, which actually has chances for some decent... I mean, less than 1%, let's be honest. You're probably going to get one of those. But there are, there are chances of getting other creatures in it. Right, so with that being said, let's have a look. Carnivores, and it should be somewhere here. There it is, Tyrannosaur Buck. Is it any good? Let's compare it to blue. Uh, I mean, almost double the health. Hmm... What's interesting is I would have thought the buck would be more damage than health. And then the doe would have been more health than damage. But it looks like they, they've decided to do the complete opposite of what I thought they were going to do. 
And here it is. The Buck T-Rex from the Lost World. Yes. So it's basically Rexy's model with... Oh, I don't know about you guys, but it's just iconic. The, the colorings of the Buck Rex. I don't know. The, the raptors, the tiger stripe raptors, the Parasaurolophus in the Lost World. Like that, those three dinosaurs right there. Just, mwah! That, I don't know, something about the, whoever did the creature designs for those dinosaurs. They did this absolutely amazing job. I think the Lost World has some great dinosaur designs in it. Uh, <laughs> that's just me tooting uh, Lost World's own home. Uh, this male T-Rex was once hunted by the big game hunter Roland Tembo on Isla Sauna. Yeah, because it was the buck that ended up going to the mainland. So does it eat any different? Uh, no, no it doesn't. Right, and the only difference when it comes to the celebrity dinosaurs is that when you level them up, they basically get steam. I think they get just cut like a, a certain colored steam around the back and some, some extra particle effects. And I think it's not the worst way they could have went with it, but it's not the best. I, I think, you know, the celebrity dinosaur should stay like this, but something should change. I'm not too sure what. The anatomy of this T-Rex looks very bizarre, I will admit. So we'll get you to level 10. Um, I I kind of want to get it to level 20. But at the same time, I, I don't want to have to deal with the, the what do you call it, behind it, the fuzz. So we're not going to get that. We'll quickly collect these. Oh, of course, Grand Premium will be one of them for hatching it. So 200, 100 battles and win. Okay, 200, not bad. I think we'll have to wait a little bit later for some other ones. So spend 2,500 DNA. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. Uh, hatch 25 Jurassic. That's more of a, a hard one. But then again, we could just hatch 24 well, now. Triceratops. Again, I need to do a list of the best dinosaurs in Jurassic World of the game. Because I, I just need to. It's, it's ridiculous. Because there, there are some... Amazing creatures in this. Stegosaurus. Stegosaurus. Triceratops is one of them. So we've got purchase tickets, hatch, participate in PVPs. They're all like 200 odd. They're not too bad. Uh, what I do ha want to do, however, is go into here and hatch. Well, there's one there at 5,000. And I think that's the only one I've got at the moment. So I know that Tyrannosaur book. We may as well instantly hatch it. I think. I think that's. Rob. Oh, we've got a Street of Mimus as well coming soon. Quickly collect all that. See what we've got for this. Uh, claim the 10. <laughs> Nothing really that good. Right, okay. So what about a Woolly Rhino? Not owned, but I, I'm i pretty sure I've got that creature. It says not owned. I'm pretty sure I've unlocked it. Let's have a look. Cenozoic creatures. Go to market. Uh, quickly go to Cenozoic. I think... I might not have one, but I would be very surprised. So, don't know if Mylodon, Cervaclis, or whatever it's called. There it is! I can buy it for 7,000, so it's not actually that bad. Uh, I may as well just do that, because I like to do that. And then all of these, that'll do. So, I mean, you get a gold prize. So, you're going to get a tournament creature. Hey, ops! Would have been great with the uh, pack, though. That would have given me some VIP points. So, collect that. There you go, do the prize drop, so it's another 200 of that. And then 885, because we spent DNA on... I can't remember now, what, what did I spend DNA on? I spent DNA on something, apparently, so there we go. <laughs> and another instantly hatched T-Rex, putting it in with this one. So I don't even know how to the other one. So I'll fuse these guys, may as well instant fuse it. There they are, look at them. Oh, it's so cute in the incubator. Here we go, so a level 11. Is it a little bit smoky? Uh, it doesn't appear to be there. I love how it keeps placing it here. I, I wonder what I got rid of here. So we'll get you to level 20. Nom, 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 nom. Eat nothing, because there's nothing in there. Um, oh, I see it now. It's green. Can you can you just detect a slight haze? And then the, the thing's going above it there. Oh, a little bit of green. So it's going to be green, this guy. Right, and what do we get? Another bit of food. Uh, tranquilized by Tembo and brought to San Diego, this T-Rex escaped and was let loose in the city. Well, I don't think it was let loose. It kind of escaped. It was brought there. Silly humans don't know what they're doing. So, 
we have the T-Rex. I, I didn't do it. I didn't get the unlocks for the other event. I don't know. They're just so hard. You, If you're doing tournaments and stuff, you don't have creatures ready for the, the other things. So, unfortunately, I didn't get it. And the next one is Syntasatosaurus. So, guaranteed. But I'm pretty sure I've already got that guy. Powerful herbivore tour. Herbivore challenge. Which ooh, seems pretty decent. Could get the uh, Fukuiasaurus. Which isn't a Hadrosaur. Which is interesting. Because they've used the model for a Hadrosaur. It's more like a uh, Gallimimus. Or Struthimimus. Ornithomimid. Um, but for some odd reason, they gave it like... Uh, the Hadrosaur uh, model in Just World, the game and Just World Live. So, don't know what's going on there. Uh, we'll have a look in here. This is a good one, actually. Um, you know, the fact that it gives you one of the unlocks. It's one battle. Not bad. So, we've got this one as well. Uh, uh, ooh. Um, 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 that's a tricky one. Not impossible, but a tricky one. The Caprasuchus really is the problem here. 4,000 attack. You know... I'm thinking... <sighs> yeah. Yeah, I'm thinking that. So, we'll go for Pachygalosaurus first. Now, I'm going to go for one block. Then, turn two, I'm going to go for two resists. If he kills me, I'm not bothered, because then Metrophodon can come in and uh, start killing Caprasuchus. And hopefully... Indoraptor, well, Indoraptor should be able to kill Stegosaur and Iguanasuchus in two hits. Guaranteed. Uh, and then should be able to easily survive two hits from them. So, let's see. So, we'll go for one block. For oh, wait, no, we can go for one reserve right off the bat. I thought he had 8,000 attack, but it looks like it's only 50% increased attack. I thought it would be 100%. So, Pachygalosaurus is out here, so the, the Caprasuit just stays out, doesn't switch. And, you know, can just get loads of reserves for Metrophodon. Now, I could have put Metrophodon out first, and you'd be right in thinking that would be a good idea, right? Because it's weak to it. But then it gets a bit messy uh, with the lineup. So, ooh, there you go. There's the killer. Uh, I don't know how many blocks he had. I'm going to say maybe one. Uh, he had five, so I'm assuming not many. So that kills a factor in one. And then I'm just going to go for four reserve. Uh, and there we go. Hopefully, maybe it had one reserve and five will kill me. Um, oh my god, I survived one hit from a level 810 Stegosaur. Although it goes full. Right, so there we go. We won that. We did use three of our best creatures and our biggest brain to win this one. It's not easy. It really isn't, uh, these battles. I, you know, I, I, I've killed it in two. Really, all I needed to do there was go for two attack. To reserve and everything else in block. And then there was nothing that they could do. This way, I still might be hit by one if they go for four attack. Ooh, Inguana Suchus. I'm liking the colors. I've never seen you like that before. So that's a level 40 Iguana Suchus. Is green striped. And uh, black and green striped. That's interesting. That's another creature that I just haven't gotten. So there we go. A little bit of that. The common, which gives us another 500 DNA. As well as Tropaganathus. As well as, of course, VIP points. So, we have the Testure Strength. We have the Glacial Shifts. What lies beneath? Um, have we got any more? Oh, it's right. It was wanting me to collect more of this. So, I've gotten that. Where's the next double for the bucks? 12,000. And then 12,500. So, we have one, two, three, four, five six seven when you get the guaranteed because you get one free when you do the grand premium so it's one off strangely enough it's one off you know getting it max level i feel like they should just give you eight if you've bought the grand premium and you managed to play the game so much that you've maxed out to the end um you should be able to get it however they've definitely shortened it because it used to be around about twenty thousand, i think it was so they've taken all of that away. And they've just, nah, every 250 you get like a seasonal chance pack, which gives you a chance of winning something else. Um, so the players that really participate in this, you're gonna be able to get a lot of the rewards. Now, I am curious. The other creature I haven't mentioned, I said there was two, and I didn't lie to, I swear, is in here. 
It is Irritator Gen 2. So, people have mentioned last time that I ended up selling a dinosaur that was at level 40 and it didn't need to be a level 40. Uh, it could have been level 10. I did not realize this, all right? So, we really don't need to focus on getting uh, Dacosaurus up to level 30 because it's just giving us one Irritator Gen 2. What we need to do is get Unlock Irritator Gen 2. So, what I am noticing... Yeah, I mean, I don't know. It says Irritated Gen... Yeah, I've already got that. That's fine. Oh, God, another one. 15, no! Um, where's the harbor? Get to the harbor. So, uh, get to the chopper. We need a level 30 Chronosaur and a level 30 Plesiosaur. Uh, we have a level 20. Okay. Uh, I do have one. Uh, I guess we could use the instant hatches. How many bucks do you think it'll be? Do you think it'll be more than 100? I mean, it obviously it'll be more than 100, but a legendary for like an eight hour, if not two days. What are we thinking? I mean, we may as well use it. I'm all right with that. We got another, oh, 305 for the Stegoros. Oh yeah, we, let's have a check in. It looks to be level 20. We'll see how many we've got of these guys because I have unlocked them. And I would like to just see how good we can get this guy. I am very curious what they're going to do with the celebrity dinosaurs. Because even at level 40 with the Buck, Rexy, Blue, Beta, Bumpy, all those. They don't really do anything. Like, yeah, you've got the dinosaur from Isla Sauna. But then what? I feel like there should be a way to either level them up past level 40. And that would make them, in particular kind of interesting because then they could stand toe to toe against some of the stronger hybrids in this game could be interesting um i don't think fusing them because then you you fuse it it's it's like wasted right that's why we have gen twos of things because nobody cares about gen two <laughs> or it was just a way of ludia uh like getting updated versions of the dinosaurs like giganotosaurus has been in this game for ages but it was not the giganotosaurus from dominion Though we do have that now. So, let's have a look at the trade hopper. We've got anything interesting in here. Trade hopper is always good. Uh, oh, two bucks. Heck yeah. Anything good? No, it's absolutely terrible. Decorations. I have 27 of the Apatosaur statues. So, we're just going to trade all of those for DNA. I've noticed the amount of DNA you get for them has changed a lot. I think it was about 300. Now, it's max 200. So, we'll see what else we get in here. Yep, don't care about that. If I get rid of it, that's good. Oh, 28,000. Or 28 million coin for 3,000 uh, DNA. That's good. Uh, not bothered about these. Concavenator, I'm not trading you for food. God, no. I got 58 million. Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't really care about the mystery. I just got that for free when I opened a pack. Uh, nothing here. Nope. And the final one. Get rid of that. May as well. Um... Oh, bucks. Oh, two bucks. Ooh. Yeah, sure. I mean, it, it's not really worth it, but it gives me something. And yeah, I've got way more VIP points than I do bucks. We may as well do that. So that gives us a mission, I think. Oh, no. Let's not do the trades. Okay. Okay. I thought it was. All right. So what were we doing is the question. That's right. We were going for this. So uh, we need one more. 4,500. Is there anything I can think of that we should speed? Ah, may as well. It's still expensive. It really is. So we'll feed you guys. You know what? At least we're, we're using the aquatics for something, right? I mean, they're going to disappear. But they're, they're being used to unlock something. So instant fuse. Boom. More of that. I think this guy had a hybrid. That's why I've only got it. Yeah, it does have a hybrid. Wait, so what is the hybrid? Leo six. Yes, that one. Uh, we'll claim that. Oh, well, there's 300 bucks back, I suppose. That could be worse. Uh, we've got another 305. So the last time we got about 370 DNA. We'll see what the Enosaurus gives us. Man, there really isn't any new dinosaur games. It sucks. I feel like there was a point when oh, there was new dinosaur games all the time. And now we're, we're in a big drought. And I don't know if it's to do with the movies stopping, really. 
that's why I've switched to Godzilla, man. Because, honestly, if it wasn't for the dedication of Jurassic fans and the uh, the mods and stuff that have came out, as well as other games like Path of Titans, I know where it'd be. Like, if I was forced to play the island in its current state, I'd, I think I might go insane. <laughs> Because it's it's just not fun for me. I don't I don't find the aisle at the moment fun. And I still see people playing Legacy. That says something. Anyway, this isn't an aisle video, um, but it it does it does say a lot about the, the state of dinosaur uh, dinosaur gaming at the moment. I mean, we do have something to look forward to. We have that Jurassic Survivor. I think it's called for the third time. God knows. I keep on clicking on that. It says claim claim. <laughs> um, is there anything interesting that we could have got from this? Just Woolly Rhino. Platys 5% for the Platyceropus, actually. I will go into here. And is there any gold tickets? Because the Platyceropus could be quite interesting. Uh, silvers. Bronzes, silvers. Oh, there we are. There we go. Okay, so we'll add five to our already uh, done thing. And then it all oh, were close to another fight, but I don't think we're going to get that just yet. So, if we go into the trade harbor, next is the plesiosaur. Right, I don't know. Oh, I don't have that many of these guys. And I've never clicked on it. Feeling the ple plesiosaur. Is it plesiosaur? Yeah. Feeling, feeling the plesiosaurs was close to modern reptiles. William Con Coney Bear, is it? And Dr... I saw Dr. Henry, and I saw Henry, I thought Dr. Henry Wu. <laughs> and Henry de la Bech named it Near Lizard. So we we need to get three of these guys. Jesus. Okay, well, uh, yeah, let's see. What's the damage if we just get one outright? You know, we have books for a reason. We need to spend them. There you go. Th th like 2,000 bucks for this. I mean, really, I've got ages. I don't need to do this, but I just want to see uh, Irritator. Uh, instant fuse. Sure, why not? Oh, my God. I could barely fit in there. <laughs> Ooh, sorry for the tight space. Instant fuse. Right, how long do we have? Because maybe Irritator could be something uh, we get later. Not this episode. 24 days. I just wait. I just threw 2,000 bucks out of the window. Uh, and then it's Prognathodon, which... Oh, Oh, yeah. No. Prognathic... Oh, this thing looks so cool. You can see it down there. And the way it just eats the shark, like, bam! Yeah! Look at it go. It's like, no! Ah! <laughs> Head fuck. These were so hype. When Aquatics came to the game, it was like, yes! This is awesome! Ah, oh, I miss them days. Uh, so, Prognathodon. We need... We need a lot more of you. So... Oh, I've got two of them. Okay. Uh, I need... Right, we need all of them. So, we go to... I think it's Surface. There's another Prognathodon. Uh, it's probably... E I mean, is it this time? That's probably the same. Doing that. An incubator for 10. Getting back in. Another one. Incubator for 10. So, that's one, two, three, four, five. With the one we've already got. So, we need three more. Uh, we'll... May as well. Um, unfortunately... The only downside is that this isn't a Jurassic, and that it could help towards my other mission that I've got going. Watch the trailer for the other Camp Cretaceous Hoosie Me. What's it? Right, more of that. Oh, was there something here? <gasps> Ooh, a little Therizinosaurus. Oh, there we go. Hatch seven things. Well, there we go. And that should be another T-Rex. Oh, no, it's another one of those. So we'll collect the five lottery tickets. Right, so... We're not going to get Irritator Gen 2 this turn. I mean, really, I could get the Daco, but I need I need another two. And I'm not... I've already used all my incubators. <laughs> I'm okay. We don't need to rush everything. Sometimes we can take our time. Now, when it comes to the battles and this tournament that's coming up, how far away is it? Nine hours. Oh, it's really close. And it's for the Struthiomimus, which is not owned, and I don't even think I have that guy unlocked. We can easily check this by going into the glossary, going to the bottom, and Street of Iam is still, uh, is still locked. That's great. So I don't have that. I don't have the Korean source, and I don't have the budget. Da, 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 da. Right. Uh, I see the green, and I always click on it. Damn it. Uh, it's just so shiny. So we're going to lose these guys. Um, so I'm not really fussed about this. 
Uh, I mean, if you win a battle, you win a battle. It doesn't make a difference. The best way I see it is just... You may as well just use really weak dinosaurs. Uh, I'm going to go for two reserves and one block. I think the best solution is to use a dinosaur that has way more attack than it has health. Go for one reserve, and then next turn, just go all out attack. And that way, your chances of uh, defeating yourself, because you've got really low health, is best. In fact, actually, we'll do that. I'm not too sure which dinosaurs. Uh, Postosuchus might be one of them. We'll do amphibians. We'll just scroll down. Uh, Postosuchus, yeah, look at that. 73 attack, 100 health. We go for one reserve right away. Um, he's got two, so if he goes for two, he could kill us. Right, and then chances are... Yeah, we kill it. There you go. So that probably is the best way. If you're strapped for time and battery, because this, you know, the drains your battery, whatever di device you're playing on. Um, not Tyrannos. No, no, no. There might be one, though. Um, yeah, Postosuchus or anything like it is probably really good. And, you know, if you're going to die, if it's going to go for two now, at least it gets it out of the way. So, I mean, if it goes for one block, we're good. If it goes for two block, we're not. But I, yeah, I find that two block is normally what they go for. <laughs> I was like, well, I find, yeah, actually, it shouldn't, in theory, be as easy as this. But I'm making it look super easy. There you go. That's the fastest way to do it. Quickly go. Amphibians, weakest first, and Postosuchus should be there. And there we go. Oh, Postosuchus. Ah, there we go. So, chances are now that, yes, we've lost. Okay, so we may as well give up. But at least that way, you know, you're, you're, you're doing it as quickly as possible. We'll quickly get that speed up too. As quickly as possible. And the creatures you're using, I've got a crud ton of postosuchuses, apparently. Um, yeah, I'm not wasting anything here. Just a postosuchus. I don't really care. Oh, even better. Now, if it goes for one block, which is that's all it has, doesn't matter. It's dead. And it didn't even go for it. Bam! And we're going to get one more unlock towards the next one. And you get 75 DNA each time. Go for amphibians. And boom, another postosuchus. Hold on a minute. Oh my god, that... Wow. I just caught that. It stopped recording. It just got stuck. I saw the timer not moving. I'm quite good. I'm, I'm quite proud of myself for that. <laughs> well done, James. I just, I, I don't know. I don't know. I just looked over, looked at the timer and just went, did a double take there. Excuse me? Excuse me? I did not say you should stop recording. <laughs> 120. But really, the main reason is to try and do this. But honestly, like that, that thing, loads of fun. Easy to do. Then you do stuff like this and it's, it's like, use your best creatures. Um, and especially this one. Aquatic and Glacier, I suppose. Let's try this. This is one battle. I like the ones that are quick. I hate the I hate the ones that are like six battles. Like the one we just done. However, it's quite easy because you're not facing like this team six times. You're facing like one creature. That's okay. So really, we want to go for amphibians here. Um, but honestly, carnivores work just as well. So I'll go for one amphibian and then I'll just go like pretty decent carnivores. We'll see what happens. Um, I'm going to go for one reserve, expecting it to switch. And then once it switches, it's probably going to kill me. Oh, that's a lot. Although I have 12,000 health. This thing's really freaking good. Okay, so I may as well just go for a full-on attack. And since I can kill you. Ha <laughs> ha! Are you dead? And in comes the rainbow Elophosaurus. Which, is it going to switch out? No. Nope. It's got cojones. Okay. You want to dance with the devil? It's a weird looking devil, but it'll kill you. And the next one has more attack. I did think it might switch, actually. It's like 900's a bit low. And you go for a hit, you cheeky git. Nobody likes it as soon as you see it. Oh, kill it. <laughs> oh, bless it. It doesn't mean to look as stupid as it looks. Actually, it doesn't look too bad. I think its eyes look better than the other one. They were like looking in different directions last time. <laughs> Turn 60. Brilliant. So that's two done. Um, I have started this gyrosphere, but I'm never going to complete it. I think it was a mission to start a new gyrosphere. Uh, there's this one, which I'm not really fussed about. 
I think that's like a one-time sort of thing. And then we've also got the herbivores. Which shouldn't really be too hard if I think about it, right? Like, just go for that. And then go for, like, that and, and, and that. And, and go for the reserve first. And... Hmm. Maybe I could have went for something better. Like, I, I know this is coming. But my biggest hitter isn't that big. Yeah. Yeah, let, let's restart this one. I mean, I probably could have won it. But I like battles that are super quick. So we'll go with you. Get the speed up of you. And then, yeah, level 40. That is better. And then we'll do that. And that way we're not wasting any other herbivores. <clears throat> Interesting that the, my roster for herbivores, like good herbivores, is very small. So we'll go for this. Can we kill it in two hits? Three, six. Uh, no, I don't think so. I could kill it in three. Yeah, okay. It, it was close. It was close. Bam! Kills you. I could definitely kill this thing in two hits, though. And I, I've got two options. I can maybe stay in. Oh, okay. He's got one block. So I could go for three here. Guarantee the kill. What I'm going to do instead, actually, is just put in the Chijong. So, so I could stay in or I could switch out. That's precisely what I'm going to do. So he's got three. Goes for three because I've only got two block and one definitely kills me. Now I've pretty much won this. So one, two, kills it. One, two. Uh, I think I'm okay. I don't think I can be killed with four. I don't think so. Yeah. Yeah, he'd have, what, 3,000 and odd, and that's not... A, a thousand's a big jump. A big jump. Yeah, so he goes for two. He's got two block. I've got six. Four's gonna go through, and two will definitely kill it. And Monostegatops with a charge. Now, will it be herbivores all the time? Let's have a look. Another 75 DNA. More herbivores. Oh, okay. You know what it is. The last one's gonna be carnivores, isn't it? It's gonna be carnivals. Oh, God. Yeah, um. Right, let's do a similar thing. Dracoceratops. And another one. I think we got this. I think we got Dracoceratops does 3,000 damage. So two hits should kill, I think, Prion Sutures. Let's have a look. It's 3,000 something. 3, 000, so 6,600. 800 damage might be doable. Yeah, there we go. Okay, yeah. And we got 10,000 health. Sweet. Bam. This thing's awesome. Jokoceratops. Very, very good. Oh, you've each got the same... Yeah. <gasps> You're clashing. You're wearing the same colors. And again, Ludia, you've listened to me on a lot of ideas. Please change the freaking battle room. Oh my god. Uh, ooh, that probably wasn't a good idea, actually. Yeah, not, not the best idea. Could have went for one block. Could have reduced even more. Oh, goes for the swap. Oh, the 2700! Okay, yep. Let's switch out to jungle swords. I 100% I the next one. I think we'll be carnivals. If it is, yeah, cheeky gets. If you've made only, carn only herbivores against carnivals... Okay, should go for full on five? Full on five. Get in. Yes. And you've got nothing, so you die in two hits. And there we go. Yep, sorted. Very easy. Very easy peas. And everyone who plays this game should have two thirds of this team available to you. Two level one Tijongasaurus. And you just need something as good as Draco Sound. So going into the game, probably your best bet as, you know, a beginner is just focus on like one chain of like unlocking stuff to get something very good. Right. Uh, and the final one, eh, it's carnivals. Of course it is. Although they're not the strongest carnivals. And... You know what? I'm going to go for armor matter. I could go for Segna Sutures, but I'd like having the extra bulk, the extra health. And even though Armor Matter is the best herbivore, technically, um, it doesn't feel like the difference is too much between, you know, Mono Monostego level 40 and this thing. 
So, two, four, six. I could kill it. Uh, yeah, let's go for it. Let's go for it. Let's go. Just kill it. 3,000 attack gets turned into 2,003. So it's lost 700, which is a lot, especially if it does multiple attacks. Uh, okay, just one attack. Brilliant. Um, now I... Ooh, e Oh, thank God. Oh, beautiful. Oh, I'm safe. I live to see another day. Thank you. Thank God. Right. Okay. Um, may as well go for that. Tijongasaurus might stay in here. Yeah, might do. Should have went for an attack rather than a block because then he would have guaranteed go for five. But he does it anyway, which is perfect. And these Dilophosaur Gen 2s, two of them doing it deliberately because I don't want to have it. Uh, uh, we'll die. So that kills it. And yeah, I mean, it's one level higher. I three kills them anyway. Block for two just in case to make sure I survive. And even if it goes for a full on four block, three go through and kill it. So there we go. That is how you do the herbivore mission. Oh, oh not that one. Sorry, my bad. I'm thinking about my stream deck in, uh, in the UK. Yes. So, that is a power herbivore, which ooh, gives us like 2,500 DNA as well as a Shunosaurus and VIP points. Pretty decent as well. Another 650. That's three now. Still can't quite see it there on the... <laughs> it's hidden behind the, uh, the metal. So, we could even keep on going and keep on doing uh, the glacier shifts and what lies beneath. What's very good about these uh, battles is that you see a pattern. So it's like, you know, whatever planes is weakness is then its cavern. So if we go into the aquatic, it's, oh, whatever cavern's weakness, it's surface. So the cavern, two caverns, and then it's, it's, uh, it's weakness sort of thing. Um, <sighs> interesting, interesting. Well, we'll quickly claim this because I did do the speed ups. I'm a good boy. I remember those in the back of my head. I'm like, oh, these do these speed ups. Oh, and, oh, of course you get some uh, points for that, but not that I really care about it. As well as those. Yes. I like the super DNA. Uh, oh, you guarantee these. Oh, okay. Well, this one's better because it's, uh, it's 500. And what do we get for this one? 500 as well. Oh, but that's a legendary. Right. So we need caverns, basically. If we have a good cavern, pretty much done it. Um, I think we'll do, uh, should we? The best way, there's three battles. So split your animals or your creatures, whatever, into three categories. So you've got the top three and then the second top three and then the third top three. And you want to mix it like never pick your best creature with then the best of your, your, your second top three and then the best of the third top three. Um... Because that's because then eventually you're going to be working with your worst from your, th your first, your worst from your second, and your worst from your third. Uh, in this case, um, I will do my worst from my third because it gets a type advantage. And then I'm kind of good to go for middle from my second. And then I could go for my top if I wanted to. But I'll go carbon ever. We'll just go all cav caverns. All caverns. Doesn't make a difference. Um... Gonna go for reserve here. Yeah. He'll probably swap, I think. Yeah. Even though they have literally the same attack. <laughs> literally the same attack. I'm gonna go for two reserves here. See what you do. Oh, goes for an attack. <laughs> even sped up, looks even funny. Funny. Uh, so that was all of his attacks. Right, I'll go for one block. Okay, so worst case scenario, we're hit with two. Oh, look how chunky the Smilodon is. Oh god, it's, uh, we're dead. Oh god, that was that was stupid. I shouldn't have even gone for a block. Oh no! Right, it's not over just yet. You went for all your attack. I kill you in that, and then I go for two reserves. The next one might be a little bit more tricky. Yeah, no, it's not really. Um, you're gonna have to go for three to kill me. And two can kill you. 
So there we go. Titana Bowen goes for the six. Oh, it's the tail slap. Oh, bam. Just like a real snake. Yes, beautiful. Reminds me of those color changing uh, pencils you used to get. Where it was like heat sensitive. I had a Lost World one. It came with Lost World pencil case. Never used it because like, ooh, it's so cool. When you sharpen it, you're going to lose the cool effect. Right, okay, next one. Again. Glacier is good here. So we could go for Smith, Smith, Smithy Saris, which will kill Gastonus instantly. Then we want a Plains. Oh, sorry, Savannah. Uh, I've got my own Gastonis. And... I guess another Plains. The um, Death Panda, I suppose. So straight away, we can kill one, which is great. Bam. Kills Death Turkey. And then we've got the Entelarakus, which probably is going to switch. Yeah. And this thing. Oh! I don't know who came up with this design, but it's freaking horrendous. Uh, I'll go for one reserve here. It'll probably switch out to the other one. We'll see. No. Oh. Oh, no. It killed me. No. Well, it's not so bad. It's not the end of the world because we can go for three. Kill this thing. And I'm going to go for one block. Because that, uh, the next hybrid has got like literally no attack. And I'm already nullifying one of its already attacks. So instead of three, it's only got two. Doesn't even go for it. I've got four, and uh, yeah, I was going to say, uh, worst case scenario, it blocks for three. And there it is, yes. Weird kitty deer thing. All right, and the final battle. Oh, oh wait, there's four battles. <gasps> I didn't see that. <laughs> okay. Uh, lots of savannas now. Um, and I don't really have any good ones. Oh, uh, uh, that's that. And <sighs> yeah, uh, guys, this one's going to be tough. I really don't understand how I'm going to do this. Just keep hopping. Go with the go, 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 go. Uh, I'm going to block. <laughs> I mean, the damage is quite high. Pro Coctodon. Oh, I didn't realize it's a VIP creature. Okay, that's great. So I can go for one block and a reserve now, knowing I can survive this thing. Oh my god, it really doesn't like it. What did he ever do to you? So one, two, three, kills it, and then I can go for reserve. Beautiful. You know, we took the left and a right hook there, but we saved. We bided our time and actually killed it. And now... This thing's going to go for two. Right, okay. No! Okay, okay. So, oh, I'm weak to this thing. Um, I'm going to make sure... I'm, I'm going to play it safe here, because, yeah, I thought he might have one reserve. Um, and I want to make sure if it went all out, I would survive. And it does... Oh, my God! Ugh, kick the shins! Right, right, we need to kill this thing. Uh, and that kills it, and then we've got two reserves. Oh! I was so underpowered for this fight, but I've managed to do it. Uh, oh, and he's gonna have to go for four to kill me! I survived with two health, and he goes for three. Oh, no! This thing's so huge! Indrica Indracaceres, is it? That's the hybrid? And then this guy. All out. There you go. Panoxus! 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 Yes. There you go. Beautiful. Looks like something from Star. Oh, the other one's only three battles. All right, I picked the long one. <laughs> and finally. Um, I mean, I may as well just go for my best ones here, really. I, this, this isn't even guaranteed. Because they look super strong, all of these. And it's all three. We, we've dealt with two different ones. Now it's every, you know, it's each each bio. Oh, you look awesome. Right? I don't like the look of you, though. Um, I'm going to switch to you. Look how fearsome my thing looks. Yes. Right. You can kill me in one. Does it? Oh, this, this is brilliant. Okay, yes. Keep going, keep going. 
Oh, and it went for all block as well? Come on, go for three now. Go for three. Oh. Kid's so lucky. It's like the game knows. Oh, bless you. I mean, four battles is a lot. All right, so one, two. Oh, wait, it dies so easily. Oh, that was stupid of me. I could have survived way longer. <laughs> I probably had opportunity, ample opportunities to kill it there. Didn't realize it was so weak. I was just like, it's got a crazy attack. I didn't even look at the health. Um, okay, four. Yeah, that's the thing dead. Cool. But fortunately, uh, it's got nothing. I kill it in possibly two hits. Uh, I don't. Okay. And there we go. That, I think that's it. I've got three extra attack. Uh, this crazy killer zebra kangaroo thing can't survive. Oh, no, it can survive. Oh, yeah, three hits. It can't survive three hits. It can survive two hits, but it can't survive three. And here we go. Seven attack. Blocks for three. Makes no difference. Didn't matter what it did. And the charge. Ooh. No. The dead were rabbit. And finally, the four freaking battles. There we go. And 300 bucks. Oh, okay, okay. Thank you. And a... Whoa, 1,300 of that. Sweet. And we unlock it. I think we've pretty much already got that. And then we now have this. And this this one should be super easy. We'll quickly breeze through this. It's only three battles. So similar rules apply here. Um, that's... Like, I don't need anything else. Like, that. that's pretty much got this. I'm sure, yeah. Instant one hit. Speed up. Megalarchalon. Never got this thing to level 40. Um, probably only having level 20s would be perfectly fine. Now, unlike the glacier that we just did, these guys seem to be capped at level 40, which I'm all a fan of. Bam! Killer shark versus killer shark. And Dunkleostius. Dunkleostius. Uh, it goes for two attack, and I didn't even need to use Hainasaur. Hainasaur was my best one. I thought, oh, yeah, yep, nope, there we go. One battle done. Beautiful. Air, sea, land, and uh, glacier. Uh, and yeah, these, are, these guys are capped. So, another super easy one. Don't mind using, like, I tell you what, I'll use easy creatures. Actually, that's not what I meant. Take that one out. Put you in. There you go. Easy done. Go for reserve. It'll definitely kill me. And then I come in. One hit. Two two reserves. And then I think I should be good. I'll double check the attack on the Lyplurodon. The Sea Wizard. I'm a little bit worried about that guy. 406. Nah. Nah. He could do a max of... Like 1,800 maybe? Damage in two hits? And then once I take care of this guy, so I have to go for one, two, one, two, and there we go. It doesn't matter if he goes for two block, which he did. He went all out in the blocks. It's dead. Seven attack turns into 388. Much lower. And it doesn't even go for anything. And I may as well. I kill it in one hit, so I may as well go for five. Here we go. Headbutt. Bam. An intense hit. Oh, it looks so cool. Look at it. Looks awesome. Right, okay. So, that's that one. And we're, we're one battle. We're, we're done. And we just need a cavern. So, go for something really rubbish. Then go back into the Orden Catfish. And that's it. We're done. We have done... How many events? We've won so many packs. And we've done loads of events. That's what I like to hear. That's what I like to see. That's what I like to do. So, one and then... Two reserves. Super quick. The uh, the glacier battles just took ages because they were going crazy with it. You know, they were just putting it up to level 200. I think at that point that they're actually just averaging of what your uh, creatures are. Possibly. Whereas this one, maybe these creatures are always this level. So if you've got really weak creatures, you could probably do the glacier battles because it'll average down to your lower level. But the aquatics are all like level 40. Maybe they're just always quite quite high. Possibly. Anyway. So we'll just go all out. Orden Catfish. What does it do? Is it a headbutt as well? It's a num num ish. Num 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 num. 24,000. And there it is. Glorious. 
there's so much effort that's went into this game. It's, it's a shame. I, I want to have more to do in it. So another 100, so it's like 400 bucks, 500 extra DNA, and another 650, as well as getting a free Mawasaw. So that's five out of 25 we've done so far. And we're about to get even more uh, extra missions done. Actually, let's have a look. Where, where is it? There it is. Yes, look at Buck T-Rex is here. Glorious. Anyway, guys, before this video becomes an hour, let's cut it. Uh, uh, this show, let's cut it short. Definitely isn't short. But anyway, guys, we'll quickly collect that. Anything more? No, nothing more. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, guys, leave a like. Until next time, I'll see you later. Oh, bye-bye.